mass one before I pick up my handsome boy. So two, a particle moves along a straight line and passes through a fixed point O. Its displacement as meter t second after it starts moving is given by this one. The particle moves to the right of O until t is equal to 3 and moves toward O again. Find the total distance travelled by the particle in the first two seconds. So we know that here we have O. So we see it is moving. Move to the right of O until T is equal to 3. So if you see here moving this one, T is equal to 3. Okay, and then move, okay, and then moves toward O again. And then you see here after T is equal to 3, it changed direction. Okay, so we see here in the first two seconds. So for the first two seconds, we have to know the displacement at T is equal to 2 minus the initial displacement. So the first two seconds, right? So S2, so you just substitute T inside the formula. So 6, 2 minus this one is 2 square plus 7. So 12 minus 4 plus 7. This one you get, this one you get 15. Okay, so when S is equal to 0, when you substitute, you get 6, 0 minus 0 square plus 7. So here you get 7. See here, so the distance travel is the displacement at 2 seconds minus the first one, first minus at when t is equal to 0, this one is 15 minus 7, so here you get 8. Uh, this one is 8 meter, I'm sorry, this one is displacement, but I just write and here, right? Okay, so you see here, when uh, t is equal to 2, the displacement is at 12 meter, and then when it is 0, it is 7. So we know that here it started at this one is 7. Okay, and this one we don't know yet, 23. Okay. So here in the first 9 seconds. So we know that it's moving toward the right up until 3 seconds. So at 3 seconds, S is equal to 6, 3 minus 3 square plus 7. So here we get 18 minus 9 plus 7. This one is 9 plus 7 which is equal to 16. So we know that at this point it is 16. Okay. And again you see here it's moving towards the left, right? But here you see here you must check our S. So when S you see here at 9 second S9. So here we get 6, 9 minus 9 square plus 7. So here we get 54 minus 81 plus 7. Which is equal to negative 20. So we know that at T is equal to 9. This one it is negative 20. So, so we see here the first 9 second the distance travel is from T0 to T3 and then from T3 is up to T is equal to 9. So we can see that this one the distance from 16 minus 7 you see here T0 so we see here the first 9 second S is equal to T0 up to T3 or S3 minus S0. So here we get 16 minus 7, right? And then plus, so we see here the distance between here to here. So we know that this one is 16, right? 0 to 16 and this one is 0 to 20. So this one is basically 16 plus 20, which is equal to 9 plus this one is 36. So here you get 45 meter. B, the distance travelled by the particle at the 7 second. So, we see at 7 second. So, at 7 second, we want to know at when T is equal to 6 up to T is equal to 7, how many distance has it travelled. So, basically, it's S7 minus S6. So, here S7 is equal to 6. This one is 6, right? 
equal to so 6 so we substitute t with 7 this will be 7 minus 7 square plus 7 so here we get 42 minus 49 plus 7 so this one is basically negative 7 plus 7 is 0 so when s6 is equal to so we have the yet so this one is 6 6 minus this one is 6 square plus 7 you see i just substitute this one t and t which is equal to this one is 36 minus 36 plus 7 so basically i get 7 here so s6 is equal to 7 so we know that this one is 0 t7 is 0 and 6 is 7 so it's moving here from 7 to 0 so the distance traveled by the particle is equal to s7 minus s0 so here basically we get 0 minus 7 right but we know that the distance is positive so here we get 7 so 7 meter